Hello Wolfpack, um, we are here today analyzing EOS, we're on the daily chart in the USD pair, the weekly chart and then back on the daily chart for a potential fractal analysis, so make sure to stick around to the end or skip to it, we'll be timestamping this video. Um, EOS, without diving too deeply into the fundamentals, because this is a kind of a TA analysis, is basically releasing um, a massive exchange backed by a few big names in the crypto industry. Um, and, you know, massive, massive news there. Uh, we've been seeing massive news from ES actually all year um, after a three-year bear market with not much. Um, EOS is one of my favorite coins. Uh, as I said, without diving into the fundamentals too much, I do have posts on EOS fundamentals in my Telegram group. Uh, make sure to join that in the link in description. Um, but we'll dive into a TA here. So I've got big hopes for EOS in the event of a bull market continuation. Um, we can see that EOS had a massive run-up uh, at the start of the year, and basically we had this incremental kind of spike up, leveling out here, spike up, leveling out, and then a big spike up in the end. Um, this area here, the $6 resistance, was basically the bear market. Um, EOS could not break out of that zone during the bear market, as well as this buying area, um, buying zone 1. Uh, which is around $4.10 at, at the top of it. Um, EOS really struggled to break out of that during the bear market, which led to a lot of people kind of saying that EOS is a dead coin, uh, EOS is dying, um, and that's actually a great opportunity to get into coins. When people are generally bearish on coins with no obvious reasons in terms of fundamentals, that is obviously a great buying opportunity because it represents the price being down for no reason, basically, just because people hate the coin. Um, so what we're seeing on EOS right now is a sharp drop down of around 70% uh, due to the Bitcoin drop. And we've entered this descending triangle formation, uh, which is lined up perfectly with our buying zone number one. Um, we can see that we've had two retests, well, two proper retests at the bottom of our buying zone. One of them happened just yesterday, um, and it was recovered swiftly from uh, the, the B word conference with Elon Musk and Kathy Wood. Um, and basically what we're seeing is we're going to be seeing a breakout of this descending triangle before the 3rd of August, according to my charts here. Um, descending triangles are typically bearish formations when we take into account that we're below the bull market support band and below below the Ikimoku cloud. Um, we can kind of make a prediction that we're going to be dropping below. However, that relies heavily on Bitcoin. Um but what I would be doing in this market right now, EOS is at a great price. I don't think we're going to drop down too far below. I think the buying zone two is the lowest we'll possibly go before a continuation. Uh, obviously, if Bitcoin goes to 20K, which is on the table at this point, um, we will be entering that buying zone two, which will be a great opportunity to pick up EOS, especially with the news that's been released. That basically tells us EOS is staying around for a bit of time here. Um, so yes, the chart doesn't look very good. We've got a uh, bearish MACD crossover here and we're under the 99 MA. So that MACD cross should have some effect on the price. Um, you know, that possibly could be the trigger of this descending triangle uh, breaking to the downside. But I would, uh, I, I have already actually picked up a small bag of EOS in this buying area. I'm waiting for either a breakout of our critical resistance zone up here at $9 or a drop down into zone two to pick up a bigger bag. Um, I'm being very careful buying altcoins in this current market, as if Bitcoin drops to 20K, they'll be dropping 50 to 70%. However, I am very bullish on EOS. So let's jump into the weekly chart on EOS here. So we see on the weekly chart that we've basically had this structure. We had an interesting bull market in 2018 with EOS in which we saw two kind of spikes up, two separate peaks. Um, that's pretty unique. We didn't really see that with a lot of coins, but Regardless of that, let's look at our kind of buying zones here, just spread out on the weekly chart. So this will give you a good kind of example of uh, the, the critical price points of EOS on a longer term scale. As you can see, um, our buying zone two, which would probably occur if Bitcoin drops to 20K, um, you know, EOS has barely been under that buying zone since like 2017. So that is clearly an excellent buying zone. Even if we enter a three-year bear market, which I think is very unlikely as that was that would invalidate the whole bull market structure theory, um, both the four-year cycle and the lengthening cycle theories. Um, so even if we go to 20k on Bitcoin, I don't see us going below the second buying zone. Um, and so that is a great buying opportunity to me. Um, and even the buying zone number one, 
uh, is a great buying opportunity because realistically we shouldn't be entering bear market prices after a bull market unless as i said the four-year cycle theory or the lengthening cycle theories are invalidated which is unlikely um, our critical resistance is at nine dollars as said before so we can see that's pretty clearly going to be a place where we can make a continuation we have three blocks of support here um, in that area that i'm circling right now um, once we break past that point, we can definitely continue into new all-time highs. Um, so let's head over to the fractal. All right, so we're here on the EOS daily chart, and we're looking at a fractal that I potentially uh, could play out here. Um, I outlined this fractal quite a while ago. It's been a few months, and we have diverted significantly from the fractal. But at the end of the day, fractals do not have to be the same. Fractals are like history they don't play out exactly the same but it oftentimes rhymes and that's the same thing with charting and price action so we can see with the fractal here that i've circled so this is what i've kind of labeled out here when i when i made this fractal we saw this spike downwards spike downwards and then a big run up and we saw the similar thing here with a spike downwards spike downwards and a big run up um, unfortunately this run up was blocked off and cut off quite early due to bitcoin um, it was cut off in the 14 to 15 dollar support block which we can see was cut off here at the end of the 2018 cycle as well um, so that does make sense in terms of resistance uh, we've dropped back down steeply but ultimately i'm expecting us to continue in this kind of upwards trend uh, when bitcoin shows recovery we've still held uh, a support trend line from the March 2020 drop, uh, we can see that it's pretty clearly a, a long-term upwards gradual price action. And with the news coming later this year, um, I'm definitely expecting EOS to go up. Um, as for price of predictions, if the bull market continues at a full scale and alt season continues at a full scale, I see absolutely no reason why EOS cannot reach 100 USD. Um, you know, you have to take a look into the fundamentals here um, and you have to take a look into what typically happens to altcoins during the bull market. EOS is a coin that's on every major exchange, therefore it's accessible to basically everyone around the world. There's no blocks in acquiring this coin. If we get any kind of hype, any kind of traction in EOS, it's going to pop. Um, it is in the top 30, it's currently 27th I think, so it's very well known amongst the crypto market. And when new people come into the space, which is what happens during bull markets, uh, they go straight to those charts, those top 100 charts, and they pick out the coins they like from there. So EOS will definitely be on someone's watch list. Um, so that's basically the video there, We're giving you a rundown of EOS. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and thank you, and we'll keep it up. So thanks, have a good one.